Hi, Gordon, Gordon McAdam here uh, from Combat Arts. Someone has asked me to do a couple of videos on abs, the abs exercises that I do. Um, I think abs are really, really important in martial arts, but actually in all your training. Um, nothing looks worse than, you know, like it doesn't matter how big your arms are, but if, you're, if your abdomen <laughs> reaches the room before the rest of you, that's not a good look. Um, so good for uh, just all around health and well-being. I'm going through a whole series of these. I got a lot of these not just from my martial arts training, but also from time in the fitness industry. I've trained with some top osteopaths in the UK. An ex-professor of osteopathy gave me some other insights on prehab, rehab ones. Um, and the key for me in all of them is that, that you should be able to feel them and you should get the benefit from them really, really quickly. Let me know if it works for you. Uh, ping, you know, like, subscribe, all the usual bits. Um, and give me any comments, you know, hopefully nice ones, yeah, or uh, ask me any questions if there's any way I can help you in your training. First bit we're going to go to is uh, the basic structure of your abs. So, God bless the internet, there's lots of stuff you can actually see now, so it's easy peasy. Um, but the basic thing is you've got your rectus abdominis, which is your six pack ones that everyone talks about and most people don't have. Right, so you've got your rectus, then you've got your obliques, internal and external obliques on the sides, that's for all the twisting. Yeah, um, and uh, the one that most people seem to forget about uh, is the transverse, and this is like a girdle that actually goes right across your abdomen. So first part we're gonna do, we're gonna go how do you get in touch with that, and then we'll do the sequence that I do, um, which I got a number of years ago, um, because what I discovered was even though I was doing lots of abs exercises, somehow my abs didn't feel strong. Um, so I had to do lots of research and talk to people that know more than me, uh, and I came up with this little routine that seems to work pretty well. And certainly if you're doing it regularly, you should notice a difference very, very quickly. Part one, let's get in touch with the transverse. So how I teach uh, my students to do it is, first of all, um, feet flat. Yeah, so we don't want legs going akimbo. We don't want like lazy here. We want to track our feet to our knees to our hips. So we're not out, we're not right, just nice and parallel. Good form at all times. Uh, and this part, what I'm going to do is blow out push my abdomen out so there's a gap here right this is where people get the sore backs you know when they do lots of ab exercises because they're arching the back so what we want to do is push that down so we're going to exhale yeah and blow that out breathe in arch breathe out and pull this down so very often when people go pull this down they go can you pull your abs down what they do is they lift their chest all right i want to just really focus on pulling your belly button your umbilicus Flat, flat, flat. So there's no space here. So you breathe in, breathe out, and keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. So what you want to be aspiring to is to be able to keep pulling that down while you can still breathe, instead of having to like add some tension to it. Breathe out, keep pulling it down, keep pulling it down. So you should feel it. The one bit I've discovered is you really know you're getting in touch with your um, transverse. When you're in guinal canal, that's a bit where your hip joins your um, your body. Yeah, at this part here, you start to feel that get a little bit tight, right? And my understanding is that that lets you know that you're actually using your transverse and you're pulling in and pulling down on that. So that's a really good one to actually start things with. First of all, just get in touch with it so that when you engage with it all the time, you're actually pulling your abs in instead of having a, a good set of abs, but the abs actually come out. They're not doing the support that you actually like for them. Um, let me now take you through a little sequence, uh, which is the one I do. We'll do the real basic one first, then we'll do a more advanced one. Okay, so part one, okay, parallel, okay, we go here, bring your feet up, drop your heels to your, your butt, yeah, hands just at your coccyx, right at the base of your spine. Again, this is so you don't have a space, so you're not arching. Yeah, shoulders on the ground, and you're going to bring this up, knees to chest, I call it, yeah, and you're just going to keep rocking back and forward. Really, really simple, yeah. And what you should feel, this is going to fire right at the base, just above your pubic symphysis. It's going to fire the muscle of your rectus right down there, straight away, which is the one very often people can't get in touch with. So I would normally do, say, 20 of those. Uh, the more advanced version of that is to go legs straight, straight up. Not this, not rocking, but keep your feet above your hips. And then if you really want to like, make it uh, much harder for yourself, yeah, keep your legs straight, yeah, and pull the toes down. I don't know if you can actually see that. Try one more time. Still not happening. <laughs> so we're going to go here. We're going to go legs straight up. So you're just going to lift your hips off. 
Yeah, and you're not going here and you're not rocking. Yeah, just straight up 20 of those at least. And again, what we're aiming for in this is time under load. We want to go work, 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 work. So very often people can get, they do a bicep curl and like, you know, 20 in, 30 in, they can go, my God, they can feel a pump and it's working. A lot of people never get that in their abs. All right, so what you want to do is squeeze, squeeze. It's not the height. It's not about can I get high. Yeah, it's can I squeeze that muscle right down at the bottom. Okay, part, that's part one. Yeah, that's the basic and the advanced. Part two, keep it simple on the basic one, feet flat. Feet to knees to hips, tracking. And we're just going to go touch with the opposite hand onto your calf. And touch, and touch, and touch, and touch. Okay. What we're not going to do is go touch, have a rest, touch, have a rest. Yeah, we're going to have our head back so we're not using our neck. And we're going to go here. So it's the twisting motion that I want to get that's actually going to be working and working and working. Okay, next one of the basics. So what we've done is we've fired the base, yeah, the base of the abs rectus. Yeah, then the next one we've done is the obliques. We're twisting, twisting, twisting. And now we're going to focus on the top. So we're going to do it in that sequence. Again, feet flat, parallel, breathe out, yeah. So bring the transverse, engage that, head back, hands up, right, so just for a reference point. Yeah, you lift your shoulders off while breathing this out, and then you don't rock forward, you squeeze up. So you're just going up, and if you watch, I'm not having a rest, I'm not doing one and resting, I'm going squeeze, 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 all the time. So you should feel it right at the top. So I would normally, when I'm teaching a class, would maybe do three sets of those 20, 20, 20, you know, 20 of the lower abs, 20 in obliques, like 20 each side, yeah, and 20 of the upper. Yeah, then we'll move on and we'll do some other more advanced ones, yeah, as part of a sequence. But as a short sequence, that'll do you, what, a minute? You know, a minute and a half, right, okay, and it's about getting that squeeze and actually getting it to work for the maximum amount of return for the minimum amount of your time. Goodness knows I don't have much time, who does? Okay, I hope that's useful. Let me know if there's any other bits I can help with.